Hey my dudes, what is up? Simon here and look what's arrived! So I finally have my off-ice skates. Getting them has been a total nightmare because the company that I ordered them from were out of stock so I had to pre-order them and then they were having supplier issues. The blades and wheels cost £154.50. I paid my deposit to get them on the 8th of April and I was expecting to get them by the end of May and they arrived on the 12th of June. So I've been waiting over two months for these to arrive, which isn't great, but we are in the middle of a pandemic and that can affect supply chains and the postal service. But I am over it now, I now have my skates. Okay, so let's get to it. I didn't order boots. I just took the blades off of an old pair of boots and decided that I would attach the wheels to those. This was supposed to be a nice time lapse of me fitting the blades, the wheels, all that jazz onto my boots and then it will go straight to me trying to skate. But as you can see, I am putting the wheels on first. Do not put the wheels on first. Listen to me again. Do not put the wheels on first. You have to attach the silver brackety plate things to the boots before you put the wheels on. So I spent over an hour putting all the wheels on to then realise that I had to take them all off in order to attach them to the boots. So please don't do that. This was a bit of a nightmare for trying to get everything sorted. The holes in my old skates had to be wood filled. My mum's drill was running at a battery. It just didn't go as smooth as I had originally hoped. I mean, once I knew what I was doing, putting everything together wasn't that difficult and it was very good that they give you the Allen key and the little screw thingy to put the wheels on. The only thing I would say, it does not come with instructions. They provide instructions on the website, which I clearly did not read. So please heed my warning. Listen to me and do not put the wheels on first. You know what? Maybe actually go read the instructions. So as you can see, I eventually got everything all put together and then I was ready to head to a nice flat area to try them out. I went to a quiet car park. I would recommend trying to find a newer car park because I think the concrete would be a little bit smoother than the concrete was here, but it was good enough and then we were off. It is really rather nerve wracking skating on concrete. I am not gonna lie. I'm constantly terrified I'm gonna fall and hit my head. But my whole goal for trying out the skates this session was just to get comfortable in them. I just wanted to do some basic moves, some forward skating, maybe some crossovers, one foot glides, really simple moves like that. My hope is that if I just get comfortable, I'll then be able to try some more difficult moves. It's also such a nice feeling just to be able to skate outside. And I do find you get some weird looks doing anything remotely figure skatery, figure skatery, ice skatery, you know what I mean out in the concrete because I just don't think people are used to seeing you doing it outside. And what I found is you go surprisingly fast in the wheels. I don't know again if it's just I'm very aware that I'm on concrete so I'm more sensitive to these things but I felt again speed really really easily. And it's also just so odd how similar it feels to ice skating. You do also feel every bump, groove, line on the concrete though. It's almost a bit like skating on unzamboni dice. You notice all the little dips and grooves. <laughs> and I almost fell.
I can't explain like how nice my feeling that was just to get to skate. This is, sorry, this is horrendously close. This is the longest in my life I've ever went without skating. And this is just such a great feeling, but I'm very, very aware I'm on concrete, which is making it very, very scary. Like um, my feet know what they want to do. And then it's just weird because it's on concrete and on skates. I'm so excited to start my off ice skating journey and I'm gonna make a bunch of follow-up videos to this and turn it into a little series. So if you want to follow along as I try and relearn all my ice skating moves on wheels, then make sure you subscribe so that you get all the follow-up videos. Give this video a big thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day.